We've reached the final Sunday at the 2015 Western and Southern Open. The world number one is one win away from rewriting the tennis history books in Cincinnati. Genius from Federer yet again tonight. Federer remains on course for number seven in Cincinnati. A very good afternoon from Cincinnati, and what an afternoon we have in store for you. The all-time winningest champion in history of this event to tackle the world number one who is chasing his own special slice of history here at the Western and Southern Open. In the 41st meeting of Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer, with the head-to-head -head at 20 apiece, the scoreline was going to form. Yet it was still Federer with the better of the early plays. Oosh! Mind-boggling stuff. With the set still on serve, Djokovic was beginning to find a way through Federer's aggressive net play. Oh, how good was the lob. The opener went to a tie-break and the points were becoming indicative of a match of such fine margins. Oh, it's placed to perfection. It's one of those line-licking backhands. But Federer was beginning to run away with the breaker and by taking the set had one hand on his seventh Cincinnati trophy. Federer takes the first set. Deservedly so in truth. In set two, the second seed was handed an early break thanks to a Djokovic double fault. But on closer inspection, perhaps the Serb should have challenged. Well, would you believe it? Just check this out. The first serve here of Djokovic's was actually in, but he didn't challenge. Despite being behind, Djokovic was still hanging in there, saving more break points to keep Federer within touching distance. Ah, that's sensational. Didn't give him a lot of rhythm there, Federer, did he? Junking around, but Djokovic was up to it. But all the Swiss maestro needed was to remain firm on his serve, and he was doing just that. Just a game away is Roger Federer. Another hold, and it was crunch time for Federer. Federer makes it seven in Cincinnati. A quite sensational week from the now world number two. What a performance yet again. This was uh, the perfect tournament. I don't think I got broken all week. Uh, like you said, didn't drop a set against uh, great players, dangerous players, particularly on this surface. So I'm really pleased how, how things went, of course, this week. This is his 87th career singles title, his 24th Masters 1000, and a record seventh Western and Southern Open Championship. Let's hear it for your champion, Roger Federer. The win for Federer means he moves back to world number two after just a week away, but the 34-year-old insists it's all about the glory of winning trophies. Well, I mean, it's good for seeding, really, uh, more than anything else at this point in my career. Uh, if it were, was world number one, yeah, I'd care very much, but everything else is, is a little bit less important. It's uh, the focus then shifts to, to winning tournaments and beating uh, fellow top ten players, top five players for that matter, and going deep in tournaments. So Roger Federer stifles the Novak Djokovic Golden Master Plan, and in doing so, captures a record seventh title in Cincinnati. The Swiss maestro draws the curtain on another thrilling Western and Southern Open.